We're going to start with the Mandalorian right finale. Yeah. Um, spoiler review. So if you haven't watched it. Good job remembering that. Yeah. You're you're <laughs> warned. Um, we we didn't watch it together. The one episode we didn't watch together. Was this that the time. only episode this this whole season we didn't watch together? It uh, might be. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I can't lie. I was expecting more, uh, from this finale. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think it was just a bit underwhelming. You know, you know, it's so funny is that like usually the day after like a big episode comes out, I usually have to avoid like so many spoilers. No, not there was, this time. There was nothing. Well, yeah. I mean, there was like, there was a couple of tweets that like had spoilers at the top of it. So I just easily avoided it. I but, think that the reason that there wasn't any like big spoilers is because what ended up happening wasn't there was really nothing satisfying. Right. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. There was a lot of great action in it. I'll give it that. Um, yeah. There was, there was some cool stuff it, for sure, but there was also a lot of just underwhelming reveals and yeah. Big conclusions. Yeah. And, and, and I would say like after, after the whole climax is, or, you know, like the whole fight is finished, they rush through like the ending of this season. Like they, they go like all over the place to like wrap this thing up, you know? You know, I guess I didn't feel that particular, like I didn't feel it was particularly rushed in that way. Right. But I could see, I could see how you, like someone would think that. I do think that with the Bo-Katan side of things and everything that happens with Mandalore, right? A lot of it, a lot of the things that I felt were important that ended up happening in this episode, mm. or just throughout the whole season, like didn't get, a, didn't have air, like didn't get any time air to breathe, to breathe right, time to right. breathe, like it, it. And and it we're like um maybe we'll talk about it the next season. So I'm mostly referring to like what happens to the dark saber and well like just yeah, I mean like, that's that's one of the things that pisses me off the most. They're they're still like I guess we're we're assuming that they're all like um you know working together just fine now. Um, Supposedly, but right. I, there's still a lot of questions well, about also, what the fuck is actually gonna be happening now right. in Mandalore. I mean, there's also the question of like, <coughs> what hap what what's really gonna happen with Doctor Perishing? Is he just done? Is he just full full out of it now? Like, yeah, I guess, I guess that side of things, like, I'm not too worried about. They're they're. It just it, I know it, it's frustrating. It pisses me off so much that we got this episode <laughs> for episode three that that was that was for nothing. It was just to show us who Alia Kane was. That's who, and and we had already met her. Like I feel like episode three was their attempt at this character study, a moral quandary yeah. of sorts, and to a certain extent, like what they were trying to do was very cool, and I liked it. Um, I just. It's but, not an episode that deserves to be in the Mandalorian, at least. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the more that this season went on, it was it it was like what what was and now with this episode, it's like what was why should I have cared about any of that? Yeah. Um, so I guess we can maybe just start from the beginning yeah. of this episode, okay. which like let's just like try to collect ourselves. <laughs> do you do you want to start the beginning? Uh, well, I mean the beginning basically like Bo Katan's leading all these Mandalorians right. away from these, you know, um Beskar armored stormtroopers and you know, it's fine. It feels a little yeah. claustrophobic and it feels a little like they're in the volume and it's I don't know, it's it wasn't necessarily like I wasn't like riveted and like super right stressed out about what's going to happen but there's some cool action you get you know the I will say that the fight that like uh Din has to break out is it's pretty not, it's not bad it's not bad it's, it's just it's pretty I I actually enjoyed his fighting a bit I guess I just I see the flaw in that scene because like why why would Moff Gideon not have walked with walked with them? Oh yeah. Right. Like there's there's zero reason for them to be separated. And he has him monitored the whole time too. Right. And so like clearly your your our goal was to kill this man. Yeah. Why not just remove his mask and kill him right there? I don't know. It's just like it it also just, like <sighs> Grogu. Where did Grogu come from? 
can't remember. Yeah. But <laughs> he's got him monitored as well. Sure, because Grogu is important to him, at least. So but... why wouldn't you go after Grogu and make sure that... Because, like, going on to, like, his... Yeah. Well, his plan. Right. Which I also have lots of questions about. Well, it's just, it's a pretty surface level plan. It's a, it <laughs> is, but, but like in, in the last episode, so like when we get to them in the clone, the cloning uh-huh. room, um, I was under the impression and maybe it'll still go this way. Cause they'll be like, you know, maybe like in some other series or in this series, like Moff Gideon was trying to clone himself, but we can, like use the use yeah, his same right. techniques for the emperor, blah blah blah. You know, yeah. But I thought it was going towards the emperor or Snoke or something. Yeah. Um. But it was just a bunch of clones of him, and that he wanted. And the, I this was my theory was that like they wanted Grogu because they wanted to implement his yeah his. I guess I guess they would have taken his his blood <laughs> and and infused it into Moff Gideon's. Yeah. Yeah. And I what I have a problem with that is he in the previous episode was talking to that like shadow council about how, oh, and, and then you're cloning stuff, which you guys are all about like that. Right. But it's like, well, uh, you were clearly about cloning, but yeah. you're I don't in think this episode. Now you're like straight up like this was my whole thing. But I don't I don't think he wanted to reveal it to those people. Like, I don't, I guess I don't have a problem with that. Like, I think he had his own hidden plans, like genuinely. <sighs> Maybe. Yeah. Uh, sure. So he but, was, he was kind of going against the Imperial remnant but at like, that point too. But, uh, but yeah. And, and so like, he's got him monitored this whole time. Right. And you would think that if this thing is so precious to him, he would have guarded it so much with his, like his, his life, but he just lets them yeah, blow like walk through that the, shit up. Yeah. And it was so easy to destroy. It, all he had to do was press some buttons and they all overflowed. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, okay. That's just the end some of his cheesy jump scare. They tried to do. Yeah, with, like, with the eyes opening. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I mean, they are still cloning other things, and it's not just him. But I don't maybe. know. Maybe. Yeah. And and here's the thing. Like, I think the whole, um, the whole fight at the end, until it's like a three person battle, I think it's pretty weak. Basically, like Din fights Moff Gideon, and then Din has to save Grogu, so they get separated, right. and and then Bo Katan fights him. And I'm like, okay, Bo Katan's action was was good, but I still wanted to see like, you know, Mando versus like Moff Gideon fully, like you know him t- fully take him down. Which I was, I think it's a good takedown with the three of them working together, Bo, yeah. Bo, Dan, and Grogu, because because there was there was actual teamwork in it. Like I'll I'll give it that. Yeah. There was like good choreography, good teamwork, mm-hmm. and and I would say the best moment of the entire show comes from it. Which is like when the explosion happens at you know and and basically like you know it engulfs Moff Gideon, but Grogu saves Bo and Din. I thought that was that was a beautiful scene. Like that was easily yeah. my favorite scene of the whole episode. Because um, we finally like one of two for me. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, well can I can I hear your others? Or? Um. The other is just like the literal ending of the episode. Oh, where he's just sitting at the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean. Here's the thing. Should Moff Gideon be dead from that massive explosion? Yeah. Will he be? Probably not. I would, yeah, like, I wouldn't be surprised they pull some shit where it's like, one of his clones was actually, like, pretty fully formed, and it actually survived the thing, or, like, right. him and this, he's, like, severely mutilated inside his body, like, his yeah. his huge, like, mechanized, like, yeah, I, I would... I don't know where his character could go anymore other than just revenge after revenge after revenge. That's it. That's like, it's the only path he has and it's just, it's going to get boring if he's just going to keep returning. I mean, to to be honest, it got kind of boring. I, I agree. It got boring this season because because we this is basically, it's technically the same plot from season one where, you know, if he comes back from this, we we have witnessed him basically die from the ship crash in season one, and then he somehow miraculously pops out of it yeah. and doesn't die. Mm-hmm. And and yeah, and this will be a massive explosion. And 
I don't know. Because because we didn't see his body at the end, I just don't believe that his that he's gone. Yeah, exactly. Right. It just that's just such a Star Wars move. I think it I mean, that's just a, a No, whole, I mean like, Star Wars is very classic. I mean, at least at least new Star Wars is very like known for doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So after after the big finale where, you know, they kill Moff Gideon and the rest of the Imperial Remnant that's on Mandalore. Basically, they do kind of like a quick, you know, scene by scene of like the aftermath of it all. So they they kind of uh, sh- they show that they like relit the Great Forge in Mandalore, and all the Mandalorians do some cheesy clap. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, I, that's not a huge, but I think it's a little cheesy. But you know, okay. You know. Um, and then uh, basically. Uh, they're doing some ritual at the mines of Mandalore. Yeah. And and Din is like, hey, I want I want, you know, I want Grogu to be an apprentice and not he a family anymore. Pushing, like they've told him like no, several times. You can't do Yo, it. the kid can't even speak. <laughs> he keeps pushing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, so to a lot because he can't speak, he can't, you know, take the oath. And so Din basically is like, okay, well. I mean, a, a parent can give permission, so I'll I'll adopt you and it's like some field trip <laughs> shit. Yeah, <laughs> I got a parent signature. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so he adopts Grogu, and now Grogu is Din Grogu, which I thought it would have been Grogu Jaren, but I it, it is the first time I realized that Din is his technical last name, so that's interesting. Um. But yeah, because because yeah, I'm I'm a little or his surname is is his first or like they yeah. they say it first, which is interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's that's interesting. Yeah, and uh, I actually I actually really like that moment to be honest. I think yeah, was, I think there was a lot of good Din and Grogu moments like throughout agreed. this episode. Agreed. Uh, um, I think Grogu using the Force like a lot. Yeah, and like. Now it, it's what I needed in that moment where he's protecting them. I didn't think he used the force well enough, like when he was fighting those three troopers, like by himself. I really wanted like Grogu to like show out in that fight, and he he just kind of ran, which was okay. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. I I, mm, I don't know. Like for I agree, it would have been cool, but I think. Maybe it's like he doesn't really know how to use like attack things as well. Right. And All he can really do is like push. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I he, mean, he can pull things. He's, too. he's only been training for a year. So, you know, or two. I, don't know. I, I, I understand your complaint, though. I yeah. Do. Yeah. But, you know, so basically, uh, Din, when Din adopts him, uh, the armor is basically like, okay, yeah, he's a, he's an apprentice, but you got to take him yeah. through his apprentice trials, you know, and, and take him on his journey. And I mean, f- for sure, that's what, you know, like they're setting up for next season. They just didn't show any of that after the fact, even like, you know what I mean? Like there's multiple scenes after, like, you know, he's like, oh, we well, got to take him on this journey. And then he's like, Eh, I'm gonna stop in and like get the IG11 part, and then I'm gonna stop in a Navarro and like set up my home and well, like chill. I, well, I think <laughs> I think that's you know he they are gonna go on their journey, but yeah, it's gonna be season four. Yeah, right. but like I think him going to do the IG11 bit is like just I don't know, like yeah. So this place has a protector. And uh, now they have a place to settle down in between their trips. Yeah. And then obviously just, they, when they go to the new, the new, uh, the re- new Rangers or whatever, the re- Rangers of the New Republic uh, outpost, like that's what he's going to be doing for work. And those are going right. to be the adventures that like, I don't know. I don't think that they need to show Grogu and Din going on an adventure just yet. True. Um, I guess I would say though that like, it felt it felt very video video gamey to me. Where like e- even even what uh, uh, grief Karga said, yeah. said to him, he's like, "And you got a home for in between adventures." And I was like, "Okay, you're <laughs> you're just you're a video game character now." I thought that I yeah. thought that, like the fight with Moff Gideon was like super video gamey. Video gamey. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah, because he had like a mech suit basically. 
Yeah, and it's like yeah. you fight him as Din, and then, and then you, you fight, fight him as Bo-Katan, Bo-Katan and, and then, you then fight it's all three, three of you. Get, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean... It, it was, was like a bunch of quick time events. It was a very like surface level, kind of rushed, good action finale. It was just a lot of action that was... It didn't have a lot of depth. Fine. Right. Like there was some cool things like well, them yeah, flying I mean, through the air. but Them flying through the air all together was amazing. I thought Bo-Katan uh, wielding the Darksaber, like flying in people was great. Yeah. Uh, the armor flying around and killing people was great. I wanted more from her. Yeah. Um I yeah, so I guess two two of my complaints technically I'll say I guess I've already said a lot of complaints I guess, but um the the dark saber being destroyed yeah sucks. It sucks so much and the way it gets destroyed sucks. Yeah. Like they just he crushes it like, "Oh, okay." I don't know. You have like so much history tied behind the sword and for it to just be done, it that it just sucks. Like, wouldn't you feel like people would have a problem with Bo Katan for like having that destroyed in her sure. posi- yeah. possession? Yeah, I, I could see that. <sighs> plus, plus, I, I don't know. Maybe I just, maybe it's just me. But I, I, I mean, if I was him, I would have grabbed it sure. from her. But not, whatever. Yeah, because he obviously wanted it too. But yeah, I guess I just, I wanted in the back of my mind someday for Grogu to be wielding the dark saber. So. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they can repair it or something. Maybe. I just that was extr- yeah, it was super unsatisfying. Yeah. It was super lame way to go out. Also, I don't I don't even understand why it had to be destroyed. It didn't. I don't, there was no payoff for it. Like it it didn't feel like it was coming either. So I don't know. It was just Like a, I know he made that line about like Mandalorians are nothing without their toys and I'm like right. eh. I mean if but I don't it seems and it's such a cool thing. It but, is. It's like it's the coolest thing that that Din ever got, like as a Mandalorian. So, but uh, besides that, I mean, it's just oh, yeah. Well, sorry. Go no, 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 no. I was just all I'm saying is like, I, I just, I would have if they were gonna go out like take the uh, dark saber out like. I would have wanted it to be like for a big reason, and yeah, this agreed. didn't feel that. Like it was a big reason. No, it wasn't it's like, like oh, it wasn't I like Bo Katan sacrificed it to kill Moff Gideon. It was just like oh, Moff Gideon breaks it. Yeah, yeah. Plus, uh, the other thing, I I was really into the fan theory that the armor was a traitor and like was gonna was gonna like betray the whole Mandalorian faction. But you know, I really wouldn't want that to happen i just i like the like i just i like the thought of that would have actually made me pretty mad well here's the thing like i i like the fact that it explains like in season one why she's the only mandalorian left after after the like they all go to help you know fight you know for for din sure um it would also like it would also maybe explain like like she didn't, she wasn't down there in the in the depths. Like you know, when they face Moff Gideon the first time, like on Mandalore, she was like up there. And the, so I was like, maybe, maybe yeah. she's. You I mean, know, I like had the thought in the back of my head, yeah. Right. But no, I mean, you know, she's a she's a good character. So it's cool to have her be a bad, like a good badass character. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I can't say I'm like I'm not I'm even thrilled for next season or I'm more excited for next season than I was for this season. Um, Because I was really excited for this season. Because now I feel like we're going we're going back to what I liked about Mandalorian, which is we get the different adventures each week. This time, like yes, there'll be more of an imperial like part like presence to it, right? tied into almost every like single interact like episode yeah. it would seem but that seems cooler and now like grogu is actually having another like arc to go on yeah he has like a very to- mini arc in this season um so yeah like sure if 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 it goes back to season one where it's like a lot of adventure of the week and it's filmed like season one where it feels like a western again i will be very happy like yeah, I I would really like it to go back to a western because it totally it just lost two, it totally. Yeah, this I mean season two. Yeah, I mean season two had a little bit of it. A little but, bit, 
season three, yeah. there's none there's of it. There's just none of it. Except like those pirates that want to yeah, drink at the school. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but it was cheesy Western. It wasn't so even cheesy. Good. Yeah. I, uh, I'm just. Yeah, this season is my least a, favorite. It's by by a long shot. Yeah. Um I'm hoping the next season's better. Uh yeah. this this episode was fine. It was fine. Yeah. The worst finale so far for it. Yeah. For Mandalorian. I mean, yeah, yeah, like you said, there's cool action. There really wasn't much of anything story wise. Everything like Yeah. It just also so unsatisfying. I, I understand they, they had the mythosaur at the very end. I really I, thought that was going to come up. Yeah, I thought that was going to be like a huge thing in the fight, the <laughs> final thought, fight. I yeah. thought so too. <sighs> like I they, thought like they the, alluded it to the it ship so was going to crash down and then the thing was going to like, like pop yeah, up and yes. protect Mandalore or some shit. Nope. Or no, it's just still under the water. Was going to wreck the Imperial base or, or it was going to rise when Grogu like Right, like woke it up, just to like be like, oh my god. Yeah. But, well, I mean, it it awoke, but yeah, that's all it did. But yeah. I so, thought it was yeah, like gonna, gonna pop yeah, up. Yeah, and, yeah. But so so yeah, and, and like the IG eleven thing, like whatever. Yeah, I uh, yeah they they planted the thread at the very first episode, and they you know. At least they they fired Chekhov's gun. At least they like they completed the arc for that. But in but, like like the weakest Chekhov's gun. Yeah, and I agree. I totally like, agree. Yeah, and there was a lot of predictable shit. Like all that stuff with R five. Like with that, the door. That was interesting. I mean, what it was, was interesting about it. We've seen it a million times sure, with R two D two. I guess it was interesting seeing another droid besides R two D two like be that competent. You know. <sighs> But yeah, no, it, yeah, I feel you. I mean, you got the same thing with Chopper in like Rebels, which I know you haven't seen, but like right. Chopper's got more personality than fucking R5. R5. Yeah, R5's got zero. I yeah. mean, R5 has some. I guess. Some, but like not enough. And yeah. I don't yeah. know. I'm pretty lukewarm about the whole thing. Yeah. And, Maybe one day. And I'll, here's the thing if Mandalorian season four doesn't hit with me, I, I might just I might just stop. I don't think I could ever I, just I don't, stop. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, here's the thing. It, yes, it, it's it's culminating into some movie, so maybe I'll have to see it all. So <laughs> That's how they get they, you they in. hook me now, but yeah. So I don't know. We'll see about season four. But yeah. Season three was not the greatest for me. Yeah, same. We are at last week this week pod on our social medias on Instagram and TikTok. And uh, we are last week this week on YouTube. Uh, if you want to uh, listen to the podcast in the future, we upload on Fridays and Saturdays. And uh, those can be found on Spotify, Podbean, and Apple Podcasts. Uh, but yeah, if you also liked what you heard today or like us in general, then maybe think about supporting us by a comment, a rating, or a like on any of our platforms. We would greatly appreciate it. And uh, we have... I know there's two reviews that we yeah. got but we do have finally our our first five star review we do so thank you um pizza i don't I, <laughs> we may know who you are yeah, we, we may not know who you are but thank you very much yeah uh we will post this and we will frame it and thank you very much um <laughs> if, if if you want to send a review that would be amazing i'm sure like i will shout out if there's any more reviews, because it's yeah. greatly appreciated and it makes me happy to see that people are enjoying them. It's so like positive feedback. Right? And positive feedback. Mm. I mean, I will take negative criticism too. Sure, sure. But you it's know. It's just less it's less pleasing to hear. So sure. <laughs> sure. But thank you very much. That was very nice to see. Yeah, absolutely. And uh thank you all for listening. Yeah, thank you very much for oh, and also reminder, if you want free stickers, just email right. us. Yes. The links will be there. Email us. And if you don't want to send us your address, I get it. That's, that's probably a little creepy, but... I mean, that's the I, only way to get them to you. We're, we're I would like to say, trustworthy guys. So, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, until next time. Until next time.